The sun is set to pull a disappearing act, turning day into night with a total solar eclipse today. Here in Jacksonville, we will see a partial eclipse, so it's not going to go all dark. Uh, but even that can be dangerous for your eyes. Dr. John Erickson is an optometrist at Nemours Children's Health and is joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So would you explain what is it when it comes to our eyes that is so dangerous about viewing an eclipse without any protection like glasses? Yeah, so the concern is something called solar retinopathy. So that's when the back of your eye or your retina gets a sunburn. So if you think of your eye like a magnifying glass, something that we used to use as kids to burn leaves or something, um, the light that comes from the sun actually gets focused by a lens that's behind your pupil into one point, just like a magnifying glass. And that can burn your center of vision of your retina and cause a burn and possibly permanent vision loss if not use if you're not using appropriate sunglasses for viewing the eclipse. So is there something that could be harmful just specifically for kids, for an example, because it is so hard if you're outside and wanting to enjoy this as a family and don't have the glasses to tell your kids don't look up. I mean, the instinct is just don't look up. Yeah, so I practiced it with my kids yesterday just for fun. So the first thing my son said when he put on the eclipse glasses was that he couldn't see anything, so he didn't think they worked. Um, so that's the point. It's supposed to be dark enough that you can't see anything unless you're looking directly at the sun. Uh, the other fear is as soon as he took the glasses off, he wanted to check how bright it was with his eyes, even though I just told him a few seconds before not to do that. So kids are very curious. So just kind of observation to make sure they're not doing anything wrong. And then my 13 year old daughter, first thing she wanted to know is how she could take a photo of it uh, with her phone. So we talked about, you know, not to, looking directly at it. Maybe you can cover your eyes with your hand or be in the shade under an awning and bring your phone out to take a picture of it if you want to. But again, whatever you do, not looking directly at the sun. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting that the, the point that you're making about the camera, too, because, you know, we've heard that you could take some of the glasses, maybe because you, you think about most people might be taking it. You know, anybody who's a professional photographer is probably driven someplace so that they can see the, the, the total eclipse. But, you know, I've heard that you could maybe put this in front of the camera lens. I mean, when you're talking about protecting your eyes, I think people tend to think, well, as long as I have something in front of my eyes and I'm not looking directly, then it's OK. But that's not the case. Yeah, you have to be very careful. We tried it yesterday uh, at home with my kids to take pictures of it and it works. You can put the glasses over your camera or just take it with the camera by itself. Uh, the thing to be careful of is just not being tempted to look directly at the sun while you're taking the photo to get a good lineup. So you can cover your eyes with your hands and then stick your phone out so you can still see the camera but not looking directly at the sun and it works okay we were able to do it yesterday so if if a parent is worried because their child maybe looked up when they weren't supposed to is there a challenge here because do, do you know kind of immediately that you've that you've hurt your eyes is is there a pain what what happens yeah, so looking at the sun does cause pain. Even though about 65% of the sun will be covered today, it should still be painful to look at the sun and your eyes will water and you'll squint and you'll know something's wrong. But the fear is the kid's curiosity today will help them overcome that pain to want to look at it. Uh, so usually no symptoms right away. The first symptoms later that day would be a little bit of blurry vision in your center of vision. Usually that would resolve with time, just like uh, any kind of burn on your skin. But if it is severe enough, it could cause long term vision loss of your central vision. OK, so uh, so and that's the kind of that blurry, the blurry vision in the center. Then if that doesn't go away after maybe a day or two, is that when someone, an adult or 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 a parent needs to contact then, you know, a, a doctor? Yes, that's when you'd want to see your doctor. And there were cases of it happening back in 2017 when we had our last eclipse, although most resolved with time. And can you treat it with drops or anything? Uh, you, you just have to monitor. There's no treatment for a burn of the back of the eye. Wow. All right, Dr. John Erickson with Nemours, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thanks.